So I called back thinking that we're trying to do some like due diligence or something about you know some somebody else, and then um, and then they uh, they asked me if I would accept. And you know, well, I didn't I didn't ever want it, but yeah, I'll, I'll accept. <laughs> what kind of a good is an idea? What does it mean to say we produce ideas or we trade ideas? How is that different from corn or steel? And that analysis of the economics of ideas grew into this understanding of why things are speeding up that involves this more effective teamwork of you know, billions of people all trying to push, uh, push forward the frontiers of knowledge. And, and it has practical implications for both globalization and for things like um, science policy, policy towards um, um, uh, how we train the next generation of, of, of students. Cities make us smart. What it is is cities are the place to go if you want to learn about the modern world. So if you take the, the billions of people in the developing world who can't yet connect into this chance to learn, cities that can welcome them. And here I'm going to use the language of my colleague Sully Angel, who's been doing this work in Ethiopia and um, um, Colombia, for example, as a proof of, uh, of what's possible. What we need to do is make room for people who want to move into cities. You know, there's billions of people who want to move into cities and people who are already in cities who want to have more space. We've got to make room for that uh, to take place.